I have to be with Vincent. Stay in the queue. Stay in the queue. Okay, okay. Oh, finally our turn comes. It's funny how nobody joins our group. Might have something to do with Chris frightening Ara. Have Oh, okay. Have ha, Have you ever been on a grand on a gondola before? Yep, when I was around 6, I remember I was really scared. But it was so impressive that my fear disappeared after a while. Hmm? What about you, Chris? Yeah, 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 me too. So, cold. Is he in a bad mood? What about skiing? Do you like it? It's fine, but I'd rather choose snowboard snowboarding. Wow, cool. I'm not very good at it. Uh, I always uh, sway to one side. <laughs> I can teach you. I can't stand snowball at all. Snowboard, sorry. Do you like skiing, Scott? I do. I like to learn snowboarding too. Anytime. <laughs> So, you've been in, a, in such a place before? Yes, with my mom when I was a kid. We spent great weekends at ski. <laughs> so I can't leave. <laughs> she looks so awesome in skis, like a true professional. Hmm, so it's your first time going on vacation by yourself? We also have a, have a skating rink. Should we go to see it too? They ask questions simultaneously. It's hard to decide who to answer first. Yes, but it's fine. I have a really good time with you guys. Uh, and of course, we should go to the ski skating rink. We have to visit everything. I can't. I can't think so too. We should. We shouldn't miss the chance. Miss the chance? We have a full day tomorrow. To do, to do it again? Why not? I'm not really interested in skate skating. Well, Scott is. <laughs> oh, someone's vacation is all about Scott, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? I didn't mean anything like that. <laughs> oh, really? What's your problem, Christopher? No. What's your problem? It's getting a bit too stuffy in here. Why can't they just relax and have fun? You always want to make everyone to get along around you. Cute Scott is cute. <laughs> Don't call me cute. Are you embarrassed? So cute. Enough, Chris. He doesn't feel... He doesn't like it. Don't you... S he doesn't like it. You d don't you see? You really think so? No, I don't like it. Don't you have anything better to talk about? Hmm. Have you forgotten your gloves? What? How do you know? Probably I, I noticed that I put my hands in my pocket to warm them. Yes, I hope I can rent them. Here. Does he does he want to give me his pair? But your hands will get cold. It's my fault and I can I can I can return to fetch mine if I need. It's not a long way back. Last year they had gloves available for rent. I'm sure they have it this time too. Uh Scott's Scott's right. Take him. Chris puts his gloves on my knees. I'm touched by his care, but Vincent said I can rent the gloves. I should give them back. Thanks, but I'm fine. Really, I'm not cold, and we're almost at the place. You can take mine if you want. What's next? You, both of you will get one pair out from your other hands, and after that, cold hands! <laughs> and I'm happy owner of two absolutely unnecessarily pair of gloves. Okay. What do I do with them? How did it even turn out like this? Can't you think you think mine aren't good enough? You should you shouldn't bother. Bother? You think I'm bothered? Oh come on, they are fighting they, st they start fighting over the smallest things. <laughs> Everything was fine. <laughs> we even had lunch together. But recently these two have some tension between them. I tried to to ask but bo but got no answer. And they pretended nothing's going on. <sighs> But I'm, but I'm not just imagining things. Coward. Stop it! It ruins the mood. We're here on vacation, aren't we? Scott, Scott's right. Th th this conversation is over. It's strange that even usual, usually gentle Vince is so aggressive. What's, what happened between them? This vista on the, on the peak, unlike anything I've ever seen, is like I'm- Okay, skip! Renting the gloves was pretty easy, okay. Vincent and Kevin took skis, but Chris chose snowboard. I can only use skis, but okay, skip! Yay! Skis! I feel confidently. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm on. I'm, I'm the only one to ride the snowboard. How about a little competition? I can give you a head start. Head start? We'll outrun you in a jiff. In a jiffy. Sorry. Chris grins in a good way. He's a true sportsman. His his eyes shine in anticipation. If you really, if you really want to compete, it's better to do one on one. Who's gonna challenge me?
This was supposed to be a good situation. Wait for Vincent's Vincent's decision. I didn't want to, but I wonder what Vince would say. Mm, I challenge you. He did it. <laughs> seriously, seriously. I hope you're good. Good luck, Vince. Snow him what you got. <laughs> Chris gives me a pointed glare. Did he want me to cheer for him too? Sorry, Christopher. Not this time. Now we're rivals. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go, go, go! May the fastest win! Hey, Chris! Go! Head start, Scott. Head start. <laughs> enough! Enough! Just go already! Or our victory won't be fair. Who said you're going to win? Christopher smirks at me and begins his descent. Jackass! <laughs> they both gain speed surprisingly fast. The descent is fairly long, so it's, it's not to our advantage. I believe it's less tiresome on the snowboard, but... That might be my imagination. Only when they almost disappeared from my sight, I realized I forgot something important. I left all, I'm left all alone now. I chose the easiest track to make it in the gig in, but at the same time as the guys. And I found them at the end of the descent. They noticed my approach and they looked very irritated. Cheers to the winner! Did you win? No, Vincent, Vincent did. Hooray! Next time you'll know better than to give us a head start. Congratulations, Vince. He becomes embarrassed and scratches his head. It, was, it wasn't easy, but you made it. <laughs> Don't relax just yet. I'm right behind you. Sounds like a poor threat. Does, some, does someone want to try himself? Do you want to lose again? <laughs> I, like your, I like your attitude. <laughs> remember my face because... Sorry, remember my face because soon you'll only be able to see my back. <laughs> we'll see about that. After his game, we went to cafe. Really? Skip. Okay. Um, leave and be. It's fun to watch them. I shouldn't interfere. Maybe they'll become friends. I quickly understand that I can't just stay and watch from the side. I just... <laughs> I joined their game. Chris drop, drops me and Vincent in turns. He's eager to skate fast and show off instead of starting slow. Maybe he's hopeless. S soon more classmates who unlike luckily came to skate. Join our fall with Chris game. Eventually, we return to the hall cold but happy. Later in the evening, we have been invited to the campfire. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Compared to the campfire, it's really quiet inside the lodge. Right now, right, all right, I need to find the white package with the marshmallows. Nothing here, or here either. Looking for this? Nice, I got lucky! Yes, thank you. I haven't seen him before. Looks like he's probably from the other classes. Why is he sitting here all alone? Would you like to join us? We are sitting in the campfire telling silly ghost stories. He gives me an un appraising glance, thinks for a moment and says, No. Okay. I no, 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 okay. Aren't you bored here all alone? By the way, I'm Scott. Gabriel Royals. Nice to meet you. So... Still don't want to come? No. But thanks for the offer. Hmm. Okay, see you. I need to hurry. They're waiting for the marshmallows. We went to bed ten minutes ago. Yes. Keep talking. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, but I wonder where other kids went. Chris and Kevin vanished. Might be the might be might it be they went somewhere together? It could also mean they finally get along well. Or they want to have want went to have it out. <laughs> I hope Chris will not hit him. He wouldn't think twice to get in a fight. But Kevin is different. I should look for them to calm your calm myself. Just a few minutes just a few minutes. Vincent can return so fast. I wonder around I wander around for a few minutes. Nothing. Almost no people. Every mountain. Kevin, where are you? How about we get together and go tubing? <laughs> Sent. I should go back to not let Vince eat everything on his own. <laughs> Damn, he's already back. Sorry, I want to I want to, I wanted to find Ugh. I wanted to find Kevin. It's okay. It's just <laughs> I just returned. After having a snack, I feel almost the happiest cat in the world. Only Kevin has not responded yet. I'm worried. Wow, do you have a date? What? Alright, Chris has found himself. I need to catch another one. Have you seen Kevin? I can't reach him by phone. Nope, but it's hard to get lost here. Let's, fi let's find him. <laughs> Sorry. With the three of us, we'll make, it we'll make it in no time. Chris makes a face he doesn't want to make part in this. I'll try to look inside. Just tell me why the hurry. <laughs> we'll go tubing, of course. Important. Alright, I'll meet you here in 10 minutes. 
I'll, I'll go it this way. As soon as we separate, it starts to snow. <gasps> we want to go. T Hello, Kevin. We want to go tubing. What do you say? He thinks for a while, considering all pros and cons. All right, I'm in. But I'd like to eat something first. Sounds good. Let's go meet the others. And yeah, they're looking for you too. We agreed to meet at a certain place. Okay, lead the way. We move towards the diner. Wow, is someone doing outside at 2 o'clock in the morning? We move towards the diner, which is only 3 minutes away. You look so happy just now. Really? Interesting. I'm glad you enjoyed the vacation. Do you like snowball, snow, snowfalls? As any other beautiful nature event. Huh? I thought the snow had a special meaning to him. Or something. Michelle likes it. She likes to play with snow. Make snowmen or snow angels. His voice turns very warm. I think Michelle looks like an angel even even without snow wings. Judging by Kevin's talks, he's, she's pretty she's pretty and good girl. Last year, Aunt sent us for a week sent us for a week to a similar place. But it didn't no, snow for a while, and Michelle was sulking at weather all the time. On our, last, on our last day, snow started to fall, and snowflakes were huge. The ground was covered quickly. Michelle dragged me to the, to the outside, and we spent several hours late playing. I tried to convince her to get inside my, many times. In the end, I had to take her on my hands, or she'd spend the night in the snow. She said it's fine. She got sick because she saw a miracle. She meant snowfall. Really, when I saw her looking charmed at how snowflakes fall, fell down, I thought it was a miracle. Small and significant to the, to the universe, but so important to me. He stops and blushes a little. Forget it. Why? It's a touching story. I don't want you to think that I... He's embarrassed. I wonder why. He's a good brother. <laughs> it's too late. Okay, I told you that story. That story. Uh, but don't think I'm a sentimental whiner. It's all right. You love her. It's normal. He looks at me with a doubt. Don't tell anyone. Sure. You can you can count on me. After this situation with Greg, he, uh, who, who's Greg? He must be afraid. He must be afraid that someone uses his weakness against him. Ah, with Greg. Okay, Greg the bully. <laughs> but I don't think it was his weakness. Family ties. It's great. We had to wait for the others before going to have lunch. Keep going. No, take a rest. I think it's time to take a rest. I want to take a break. Who's with me? I'll stay. I can, I can go with you. <laughs> what are we going to do? I'm not sure if we should go down because I wanted to, to return up here after a while. I have, an, I have an idea. What is it? It then brings me to a wonderful place. Which is... Resort looks so small from here. I bet it looks even better at night when lamps illuminate with an orange light. Making the place cozy. How do you know this place? <laughs> I've been here before, remember? I had I had time to learn the, the surroundings. It's beautiful. Could you come here for a moment? I come to him and find that there are a few benches waiting for us. I guess the place is popular enough to accommodate for this. We sit down and I look at the beautiful vista again. Sometimes I came here at night. Wow, I thought Cableway doesn't work at night. It doesn't. There's a stairway, though. You've been here with the class? I thought it's not allowed to go at night. Vincent looks confused. Did he break the rules? I never expected that from a reasonable and humble guy like him. I went here all alone. Uh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> I went here alone. He didn't answer the rest of my... The rest, sorry. He didn't answer the rest of my questions. I like to spend some time here. It's calm and beautiful. Suitable for thinking. He looks at me. Uh, or talking with someone nice. Ah! Cheek! I feel the blood rushing to my cheeks. I'm not used to soft words and Vince... I can't stop smiling. And said something to embarrass me. But I'm glad he did. I like quiet places too. The only downside is if you sit down here for too long, you might freeze. Oh, can we can go somewhere else. I didn't mean that. It's I didn't mean that. It's fine. Agitated Vince is funny. He's always worried for nothing and makes me he makes him cute. <laughs> last last year they had spy glasses here. I was sure they will have them, but I was wrong. You could look at the stars at night. We're far away from the city, so visi so, so visibility is amazing. We spend next few minutes listening to faraway voices from the tracks and looking 
looking at the whiteness. I feel refresh. I feel refresh. It's time to go back to the track. The day we beat the record of teens spending that time outside the cold weather. Blah, blah, blah. Right or left? Right this time? I can still hear his footsteps. Okay. Where is he? I wandered around for a few minutes, then I realized I'm lost. I'm cold, my fingers numb. I should go back, but I lost my tracks. It's getting harder walking through the snow. Oh, I see I see some footprints. Oh, I see some footprints. I followed them walking towards the snow. Let's give our present to Vincent. I hope what's gonna happen. I'll give it to Vincent. He's a great guy, a wonderful friend, a roommate too. I call him secretly without attracting any attention. I want to give something for you, but please don't show anyone. Show anyone? I feel ashamed that I've, ex I've prepared just one present. Uh, I'll give something to others later. I gave him a small box that was in my pocket all this time. Do you want to give it to me? He seems surprised. I'm confused why. <laughs> Vincent asked me to go on a little walk. It's warm and calm outside. Little snowflakes fall down. Are you hap- are you happy? <laughs> More than ever. I rem remember you promised you'll make this Christmas great for me. You did it. <laughs> so that was the promise. I'm glad to hear his words. Vincent always ni says nice things sincerely. He smile every time. I'm happy too. And I'm and I'm glad to spend it with you. You guys are awesome. It's good I transferred to your school and came here too. <laughs> yeah, guys are important for you. Should we call them here? I think Kevin has gone to bed already. And Chris, I can text him. I take my phone. Do you like him? What? Okay. Hey, are you sleeping yet? I've got an idea. Who? I keep writing the message while listening to Vince. Vincent in inattentively. How about Chris? Do you like him? I sense something strange in Vince's voice and put my phone back in my pocket. He seems to be hurt. Yes, I like him. He's a bit of a bully, but he's fun. Am I not fun? What are you talking about? You are fun. Of course you are. Is he jealous? I like you too, if you wonder. You're all, you're all awesome guys, and I'm happy I met you. What if I tell you that? <laughs> Never mind. Hey, what is it? You can't just leave it hanging forever. Sorry, it's really not important. Yeah, sure, you'd say it if it was not important. What are you afraid of? It's fine. I won't laugh or anything. Laugh? Is that the worst thing, honestly? Hmm. You do believe in Christmas miracles, do you? Don't you? Yes. Speaking of which, tonight at the fireplace with everyone, I felt something magical. Like we were a real family. Hmm. I like you. I like you too. I push his shoulder in a friendly manner. <laughs> Is he shy to show his feelings? What a cute guy. <laughs> he stops. The street lamps illuminate his back, bathing him in light. I hesitate to move forward and look in his face. The mood changes drastically and I feel the tension in the air. <laughs> I shiver, but not from the cold. I like you. That's what he said. Could it be that he means not just a friendly liking? <laughs> he turns around and shows his usual smile. Sorry for acting strangely. Yeah, you surprised me. Sorry. He steps to me and pushes my shoulder too. You're a great friend. I feel he's still hiding something. Or am I wrong? Okay, make him spit it out. That's wait. Try to dig deeper. I don't want to just leave it hanging. What did you say? What did you just mean? You're a great friend. No, before that, he looks confused. I don't understand. You said you like me. What? What did you mean? He sighs heavily and stops. Do you really want to know? Yes. His question makes me hesitate. Do I? But Vincent is important for me. I don't want him to struggle through something alone. Yes. I'm in love with you. Uh... <laughs> I'm in love with you for a fairly long time. What? Is this for real? 
I thought it might be that because he was acting strangely. But I didn't think it was true. I, di I didn't think it was possible. I'm a guy! And not the best one, if you think. Uh, are, are you sure? Shit, my voice is trembling. I hope you won't notice. Yes. It's not something I can be unsure of. But I'm, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm not a girl. I'm not a girl. I'm not a gay. I'm also not a lesbian. <laughs> I let this obvious word slip from my lips. Vincent sighs heavily again. I know. I'm not interested in girls. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same uh, confession from the last game. Though, if you were one, I'd like you anyway. Does that mean he's gay? I'd never think that. <laughs> Do you hate me now? Gives me a dis disparate and slightly ironic look. He almost expects me to confirm it. Do I hate Vince? That's never going to happen. No. Why would I? You didn't do anything wrong. He snaps. You know, I fell in love before, but it was really different. What I feel now is much stronger. It happened so naturally I didn't notice. I couldn't stop it in time. I know you don't put in any hidden meaning in your words or acts, and even when you smile sincerely to me, you don't really mean that you. I'm acting like a complete idiot. I must, I just wanted, wanted to spend time with you, and but instead I get distracted all the time. I never, I never, <clears throat> I never wanted to put my petty jealousy on your shoulders, but I can't help it. When they're swarming around you, I want to. Uh, I never felt anything like that before. Sorry. I don't want to push my feelings on you. Why can't I just stop talking? <laughs> he starts laughing, but it's a sad sad and fake laugh. <laughs> who, is, who is he? He doesn't look happy at all. At first, I tried to reject those feelings, but I couldn't. <gasps> I like to join you in the snow. <laughs> you easily broke all the walls I tried to build between us. You are special. You, in you made me desperate. I didn't expect to hear so much passion and hopelessness. I feel like everything that was eating him from the inside now flows into my own heart. And it beats faster and faster, making my unbearable excitement even stronger. He steps to me and I unwittingly step back. I love you. Oh, we love you too, Vince. My heart could jump out of my chest. I can't choke it away. I can push him back. I can't run away. I can only wait in this in anticipation. In anticipation of what? My thoughts blur. He comes closer. And closer. I feel his palm on my cheek. It's time to run away. Ah, it's so sweet. It... His breath burns my face. It's so sweet! But Chris is more natural because he's f <laughs> I don't know why. His breath burns my face. He's too close. I see my own misty eyes reflecting reflection in his in his. We're entranced with each other. Suddenly all my worries all my worries leave my heart and I reach out to him. His lips touch mine, oh, shyly and carefully at first, afraid of scar scarring me. Scaring me, sorry, scaring me. I'm not sure if, if what we're doing is right, but I don't care. My heart bumps like crazy and all I sense is his body warmth. So gentle. So Vincent. <laughs> so Vincent. <laughs> as much as he's careful and shy, he's also compassionate and fiery. How could I not notice it before? How could I be so stupid? Vincent breaks the kiss and embraces me tightly, not giving me time to think about what just happened. I love you. His voice echoes in my head and gives me shivers through all my body. I realize what happened. <sighs> we kissed. My friend, a guy, embraces me tightly. I hear his heavy breathing and even though our thick clothing, I can sense his heart beating fast. And I also realize that I don't mind. Why? I never thought of Vincent in this way before. But now, I just let myself go with it. And I feel that it is definitely the right thing to do. Finally, I embrace him back. I gather all my courage and gave him my answer. I think I love you too. It's good he 
can't see my face because it's completely red. You are my Christmas miracle. Ah! <laughs> Shit! Oh my god! <laughs> so such simple words, yet it's so beautiful to read. I can't remember how I came to my room and got in bed. What just happened was too much for me, but I quickly fell asleep and my sleep was kind and calm. The morning is cold and my sleeplessness... Okay... Oh, I can't... Reminiscence of yesterday fills my head. Even more so last night. I feel the blood rushing to my cheeks. On last night's walk, Vincent and I... We got surprisingly close. Are we a couple now? It was only yesterday, but I still can't believe it. I'm sure it was in a dream, though. We have 40 minutes before departure. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, no. I left Chris for just a few minutes and he's in a quarrel again. At least it looks like this. He's talking to Gabriel, a guy I met two days ago. I can't hear their talk. Well, at least they're not shouting to each other. I decided to wait here and not, not interfere. After a while, Gabriel gives a business card to Chris and leaves. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. Your friend? Mm, long story. We have a long trip home. Not this time. He turns back and goes inside the bus. Hey, have you decided to live live here? Come on in. For one last time, I look around. Farewell, it felt like... Wait. Tapos na? It ends! That's it! I feel more... I feel more romance with Chris than Vincent, to be honest. But now, let us try to get Kevin. And according to Wolfie, I'll try to go to the hall this time. I'm dizzy. I really should wait for you on the building. Okay, you may go. We're almost done with... Done and we'll join you soon. Are you feeling sick? I can go with you. I'll be okay, don't worry. You better listen to the rest and tell me, okay? Okay. But if you feel worse, make sure to text me and I'll come, come to help you. Vincent care, care no. Vincent's care knows no limits. In such moments, I feel like I'm his younger brother, or worse, his damsel in distress. <laughs> Where's our building? We, we, we were just near it, some time ago. I should kept tracking on the path. Well, let's take a little detour then. Fresh air, white snow, mountains, pine forest. What would be? What could be better? I hope we can get the Christmas tree here. I like one small and cute but lush at the same time. So it fits perfectly in the in the room. And doesn't touch the ceiling. Hmm, who's that? He probably wants a Christmas tree too. Help me confess. Wait, isn't it off limits? I remember Mr. Bennett said that the boots are huge and you're probably prohibited to go there without a guide. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Go into the woods! Let's check. If I'm not seeing things, that's that's also a high schooler. They might be get we might get lost. I knew it. I will be breath it will be breathtaking here. The snow gracefully falls down from the trees. The, s the wind doesn't disturb its elegant flow and the world around looks look like it's slower and calmer here. The surroundings look like some frozen kingdom lying it's in eternal sleep engulfed with cold ice. Okay, Scott, when are you when did you become an artist? <laughs> It smells of fur needles. Suddenly, the silencer breaks with a strong, uncomfortable gust of wind and it becomes gradually colder. I can hear snow crunching under my feet, but somehow I can't hear the guy's steps. It could be that he, he went too far away. I, I should move faster. He went this way. Or this? Or I would will be able to track his footprints, but there are aren't any. He walks really softly, as if, almost as if he was trying to confuse me on purpose. Well, no, I'm not lost. And I can still see the exit. Or not. Stop panicking, Scott. I'll just call Vince. No connection? That's unfair. Stupid phone. I... What are those noises? Phew, nothing. Ah! Chris! Stop shouting. Stop creeping up on me. Why did you grab me by, by my shoulder? You should have called my name first. Scared kitties get grave for early. I almost pissed my pants! Stupid Christopher! What are you even doing here? Same question. You had to go to Hall, so why the hell did you go into the woods? I thought I saw someone entering the woods and I was afraid he could get lost. He was all alone. Oh, and that's why you decided to follow also all alone here? Good job, man. Are you an idiot? 
Hey, I don't see any company following you either. If I went to go look for a guide, you'd have gone too far away for me to catch you. <laughs> I get I get that you didn't come here just for fun, but don't do that again. I saw you before I saw you before you even came close to the woods. And I'm pretty sure there's been no, no one else. We should get going. Was I saying things after all? Well, that's for the better. This forest is sh sure easy to get lost. It's good that Chris stopped me before I went too far. Wait, where is he? It's not funny. Chris? What? He's right behind me. Are you are you coming or what? Uh, should I take your hand? No, thank no, thank you. That's unnece unnecessary. Yeah, do you, do you remember the path? He just sighed heavily. I guess the situation makes him angry. <laughs> Even in the case, I'm still grateful he found me. To get back to the resort, we had to spend around 20 minutes. I went further than I thought. With sports bag, one of them belongs to me. Everyone else look, took their rooms already. Scott, care to explain yourself? You should you should have waited here. <laughs> I thought that my dizziness would go away sooner outside. Then you should have stayed with us. I, w I won't, I won't l allow such irresponsible behavior. Christopher, was that your idea? No, that's my fault. <laughs> you don't have to defend me. <laughs> Anyway, promise me that won't happen again. Lane, 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 Fan, what? Lane Fan's terrible. I just sent Vincent out to look for you. So irresponsible, Mr. Bennett. Wow, Chris argues with the teacher. Vincent comes here every year and knows the surroundings unlike you two. I'll have to call him after I'm finished with you two. But there's no connection. When I was in the in the, I couldn't finish. Chris covered my mouth with his palm. Eh? Don't interrupt with the teacher. Look who's talking. I shake off his palm. Mr. Bennett glares at Chris. They aren't on good terms for sure. <laughs> no wonder Chris used to skip lots of classes. It's good that after he got back in the baseball club and reconciled with the coach, he stopped skipping classes too. Only two free beds left. One with Kevin, other one with Sony. Kelsey also got two person room, but I don't think you can share with her. I was pretty sure I'll get the same same room as Vince. I'm so used to it at school I couldn't even think otherwise. I'll take Kevin if you don't mind. Okay! Now go check in already. Scott room number two. Chris takes seven. Care to explain? Um, we got our rooms? No, idiot, your palm on my face. Oh that. Do you really have to tell him everything? If Bennett knows where we were, we're screwed. We'd end up going back to the city. The forest is strictly off limits without a local guide. <laughs> they could have put some fences around if they want if I want to show how they care about the, the tourists. No connections is normal too. There's none in the mountains. So don't go alone, okay? I take out my phone and see what's it's what it's need indeed connected. I open the door and sees Kevin! Kevinman? I open the door and see Kevin changing clothes. He quickly pulls down his shirt. His glasses lie on top of the nightstand. It was just for a short moment, but I couldn't, but I couldn't see something unusual. Well, see is not the right word. Only one, one way to find out. <laughs> More like take a glimpse of a small scar on his chest. It didn't look like an accidental scratch or wound. Straight and careful. Oh, hello! You look sexy with that shirt. What's up, Scott? Wrong room. I guess it's not the best time to ask about this car. Nope, looks like we're roommates for this holiday. I ask room for one. What? That's rude. Anyway, you get either me or Chris, sorry. <laughs> Why apologize? That's not your fault. <laughs> do, do what you like. <laughs> to be honest, I expected a warmer welcome from him. We're friends after all, right? Well, this will be my home for next couple of days. I need to put my stuff away and... The most important part, the test! I flop into the bed with my entire weight and checking his softness, springiness, and... Oh, and awesome! Are you still in your outside clothes? Don't do that on the bed. On, the, on my bed? Why does Kevin have to be so tedious? I should teach him how to enjoy the simple things in life. I need to go for a while. While Kevin is away, I, I decided to check the room. It's quite nice with two beds, two nightstands, and a large wardrobe for clothes. Above the beds... There's a large, beautiful painting with mountains. I can see that! <laughs> I think the two most, most comprehensive definitions for our room are cozy and comfortable. You can, sk you can skip the knocks. The room is shared. Oh, sorry, that's just me. Can I come in? 
Sure, what's up? I was worried about a bit because you were absent when we got back. Oh, that's right. Vince doesn't know yet. It's okay, I just got lost a bit, but Chris found me. You were together? Well, yes. That's what I said, right? Silence become becomes almost irritating, but Kevin returns and saves us. Vincent? Oh, I came to ask Sot something. Uh, it's good you two shared a room. So, so, Scott seemed to be a good roommate. Of course. I never had before. <laughs> I never had better. Um, it's embarrassing to hear such things about myself. Sounds almost like an advertisement. <laughs> Hello, I'm still here. Hello, I'm still here. Kevin laughs a little and Vincent blushes while shifting his feet. Looks like he's also embarrassed. I should go to my I should go to my room. He looks somewhat down. Probably just tired. He went to look for you after all. Great, now I feel guilty. I shouldn't have see been so reckless. It's been a while since I ate. Okay, skip! There was something I totally forgot about in my bag. A small box tied with a red ribbon. Here! Please, uh, open it on Christmas. Okay, this is Tim. I wonder what's inside. I should buy something for him too. Forget that after all that happened and he started, trust me. Looks like he doesn't have any friends at school. Today ended so fast. I hope tomorrow will be a lot, lots of fun. The warm bed embraces me. It's so nice. Kevin decides to go to bed early too. I'll turn off the lights. <laughs> hmm? A text from Vince. We've only seen each other at, at a few a few minutes ago. Hello, what's this? Dave. David tries to sneak into the girls' room. He failed. Tried to reconcile and invite them to us. No luck. He, now he just sits on the bed and pretends he's not disappointed. Seriously? What if he's really disappointed? It's impossible. You just don't know him well, and that's for and that's for the better. Is he that bad? <laughs> not really. He's just a dramatic actor by his soul. <laughs> Must be fun though. Kevin is so quiet. He's already sleeping. I'm going to as well. Sorry, I, I didn't know you were in bed. Good night. Sweet dreams, Vince. Oh, ah, that's so sweet. I. I woke up some time ago. My phone shows it's 2 a.m. And I can't go back to sleep no matter how much I try to. I sit for a while in my room looking at the blizzard though, through the window. It doesn't help. It's too cruel to wake Kevin. I guess I'll take a stroll around the building. If they don't turn the lights off, it should be... Okay, I've, I've seen this already. I woke up to bright sun rays falling down on me. I feel surprisingly vigorous. It's no it's no wonder when, when so much fun awaits you. Surprisingly, Kevin woke up even before me. He sits on his neatly made bed, reading something. Good morning. Uh, do you usually wake up early? Uh, good morning, Scott. Something like that, yes. It's often hard for me to wake up early, but today I just couldn't sleep in. I'm so restless. I wanted to do everything I can do today. <laughs> it's nice that you're so enthusiastic, aren't you? I'm not really into all that. All that? Outdoor activities? But you came here! You shouldn't miss the chance! There's no snow in your city even! I didn't, e I didn't want to come. Why is he saying that? I'm sure it'll be, it'll be super fun. Are you are you going to go skiing in such mood? I'm not going. I'm not interested in it, and then I prefer to stay here. <laughs> Persuade Kevin! It shouldn't be like this. We didn't come here to be shut ins. Oh nope, not gonna happen. We need to go skiing. Haven't you seen the grand the gondola the gondola? Just think about the view from up uh, from up there. I don't want to, Scott. <laughs> don't worry, it's alright. It's just how I am. He seems to be hiding something. Oh, come on, you'll like it! I'm not, go I'm not good at skiing. And you'll leave me behind. I it's not about the speed, it's about the company. I, I won't leave you behind. But... No buts. We'll go up the hill after the breakfast. Deal? You know you can barely... You can be really persistent. <laughs> or rather annoying. Deal. Yay! First thing we tried to do was go skiing. By we, I mean half of resort's population. Okay, skip! Return to fetch the- uh, Stay in the queue! Well, I guess it's nothing serious. Finally, our turn comes. Okay, it's funny how nobody joins our group. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's more here! Might have something to do with Chris finding- Oh, yay! Have you ever been on a gun? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> 
For a moment, Cookie look holy. I do? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Have you ever been been on a gondola before? Yep, when I was around six. I remember I was really scared. But it was so impressive that my fear disappeared after a while. I haven't. I'm new to all these winter activities. Really? You should look down then. It's so beautiful. What about you, Chris? Yeah, yeah, me too. So, cold. Is he in a bad mood? What about skiing? Do you like it? It's fine, but I'd rather choose snowboarding. Wow, cool. I'm not very good at it. I always sway to one side. I can teach you. I can't I can't snowboard at all. Do you like skiing, Scott? I do, but I'd like to learn snowboarding too. Anytime. So you've been in a such place before? Yes, with mom when I was a kid. We spent great weekends at ski ski resorts. She looks so awesome on skis. Like a true professional. Parents always look on look cool in their kids' eyes. Oh come on, I'm sure you'd be impressed too. So is it your first time being by yourself on vacation? Hey, they also have ski skating rink. Should we go see it too? They ask si questions simultaneously. It's hard to decide who to answer first. Yes, but it's fine. I have a really good time with you guys, uh, and of course we should go to the skating rink. We have to <laughs> we have to visit everything. I think I think so too. We should <sighs> sorry we shouldn't miss the chance. Miss the chance. We have a full day tomorrow. To do it again, why not? I'm not really interested in, in skating. Well, Scott is. Uh, sorry, well, Scott is. Oh, someone's vacation is all about Scott, huh? What are you talking about? I didn't mean anything like that. Uh, really? Stop acting childish. This is men's talk, if you haven't noticed. My name is Kevin, and I'm a man, if you haven't noticed. It's getting a bit too stuffy in here. Why can't they just relax and have fun? Chris, stop picking on, other, on others. You always want to make it, everyone get along around you. Cute Scott is cute. Don't call me cute. Enough! Sorry, enough! You told me to enjoy the view, but this bad atmosphere is ruining it. The conversation stagnates at this point and we all start started to look out of the windows. The view is really awesome. It's good that Chris stopped being such a kid. Why does he even pick on them? I was sure he considers them his friends. I don't want to, to think I was wrong. The vista on the peak is unlike anything I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Renting the glass was pretty easy. Vincent and Kevin took skis, but Chris chose snowboard. Mm-hmm. Choose skis. Okay, I promised Kevin not to leave him alone. I should take the same thing he does. Look like I'm the only one to ride snowboard. How, does, how about a little competition? I can give you a head start. Head start? We'll outrun you in a jiffy. I'm not so sure about that. I'm a I'm bad at skiing. I'm my generous offer is still standing. Chris grins in a good mood, good way. He's a true sportsman. His eyes shine in anticipation. And how do you want to compete? A simultaneous start of four people, and whoever survives wins. If you really want to com compete? It's better to do one on one. Who's gonna challenge me? I really want to, but I promised Kevin to stay with him. It was my idea after all. I. Vince didn't let me finish. I challenge you. Seriously? I hope you're good. Good luck, Vince. <laughs> Show him what you got. Show him the way! <laughs> Chris gives me a pointed glare. Did he want me to cheer him too? Cheer him for him too? Sorry, Christopher. Not this time. <laughs> now we're rivals. The guys got ready at the starting line. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Maybe Made the fastest win! Hey Chris! Go! Head start, Scott. Head start. Enough! Just go already! Or our victory won't be fair! <laughs> We're going to win. Christopher smirks at me and begins his descent. Jackass! They both gain speed surprisingly fast. The descent is fairly long so it's not to our advantage. I believe it's less tiresome on the, on the snowboard but that might be my imagination. I'll help you put on the skis. Mm, I'm afraid it won't be much fun with me. That's not in. Th that's not the case. Don't worry about it. I all right, all set. How does it feel? Very unusual. Like something heavy is stuck on to my feet. We choose the track for beginners. Kevin sways unsteadily for the first time five minutes. 
five minute twos, man. Minute twos after we start. We doesn't. He doesn't fall though. Are you having fun yet? Not really. It's very difficult. But thanks for asking me out. <laughs> I like the view here and the fair, uh, fresh air too. You know, I might be just be imagining things, but are you okay? Kevin stops for a moment. It seems I surprise him. Uh, you're very percep perceptive, aren't you? It's a good quality, but it might be troublesome. If it's about my friends, I don't mind. He smiles at me with a sad expression. I want to help him make, make off, shake off these worries. He smiles at me with a sad expression. Worries, it's a bit so beautiful around. Come on, relax! At first, I don't, I didn't want to come here. Now it's all right. <laughs> Thank you, really. Kevin's voice becomes warm. The mood changes slightly. Feels like, feels like it's more friendly now. Ask about his troubles. Talk about some. Talk about some something fun. To ask about his troubles. Still, why didn't you want to come? I want to say I'd rather spend Christmas at another place, but it's kind of childish. I patiently, I patiently wait while he continues. For the last few years, it was just me and Michelle. I got used to it a lot, and I didn't want to let her go. I think Michelle is his younger sister, if I recall. I'm worried, of course, but mostly it's just petty jealousy. What a stupid reason to ruin the mood. I hope she has a lot of fun. It's not stupid. In the past, I also spent Christmas with my only family member. Now, I know what you mean, but it's also fun here with you guys. No need to be sad, right? Yes, you're right. Was it your mother? Yeah. It's stupid, isn't it? I know I shouldn't be jealous. I should wish her all the happiness and... Damn, how did we end up like this? I'm embarrassed. I don't want to complain about this. Where did Michelle go? To our parents. Looks like I have a habit of getting myself into other people's business. Kevin isn't on good terms with them. They don't even live together. I wonder why he did oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Why he didn't go with his sister. Should I ask? I think it's better to change the topic. Ah! It's cold! I got lost in my train of thought that I didn't even notice when I wandered off the track and fell in the snow. <laughs> Scott, stop daydreaming. You're supposed to teach me, remember? I sup I'm, I'm, I embarrass myself again. I'm, I'm good at skiing, Kevin. I'm good at skiing, Kevin. I'll show you. I am good at... I'm a good teacher. I'm awesome, actually. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just kidding. Michelle is just a kid. She, she needs parents. It's all for the better. I'm sure he needs them too. But I won't say that. He did the right thing. When is she coming back? Two days after us. The guys are kind of late. I thought they had a race. Now that you mention it, let's go check on them. We found them at the end of the track. Is it a skip? They look irritated. I had hoped they, that, that they'd get along better after spending some time together. They notice us. Cheers for the winner. Did you win? No, Vincent did. Hooray! Next time you'll you know be you'll know better than to give us a head start. Congratulations, Vince. <laughs> he becomes embarrassed and he scratches his head. It wasn't easy. <laughs> it wasn't easy. But you made it! Can't relax just yet. I'm right at your back. It sounds like a poor threat. That it's so scary. Does someone want to try himself? Do you want to lose again? I <laughs> like your attitude. Remember, remember my face because soon you'll be you'll be able to see my back. We'll see about that. After skiing, we went to the cafe. Okay, offer some help to Chris. Leave him be. It's fun to watch them. Yay, Skip just go, thank you. Almost immediately after Kevin fell asleep, I suspected he's having a nightmare. He humble he mumbles something and tosses and turns on the bed. It's the first I've seen Kevin like this. I'm not sure what to do. Wake him up. Wake him up! I think it's better to wake him up. I think it's better to wake him up. And come closer. He frowns a lot and his forehead is all sweaty. Kevin, wake up! I grab him by the shoulder and shake him a little. <laughs> but he's not reacting. He said something again and again and it took me by surprise. Now I'm worried. I shake him with more force and he opens his eyes abruptly. Kevin breathes heavily and stares into the darkness. <laughs> what? What happened? Scott? Sorry, you scared me and I... Did you scream? Yeah. What time is it? Around midnight. You fell asleep a short time ago. I sit down in my bed facing Kevin. 
It's over, it's over, but I'm still a little concerned. What was that dream about? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Have you ever been under an anesthesia? No. But you know what it's like, right? I dreamed that it didn't work, and I woke up in the middle of surgery. It was really creepy. Creepy? It's freaking night- It's a freaking nightmare! Yeah! Why do you have even have dreams like that? Did you read a, read a horror book this morning? No, not at all. I'm not a happy I'm not happy myself with these vivid dreams. Is is what you dream of even possible in reality? Anesthesia awareness is extremely rare, but it's but it's possible. It even has a special name. Many more specific things have names. Right, right. Kevin knows a lot about medicine. No wonder he knows the terminology too. Maybe he heard about such situation and subconsciously remembered. And now it's resurfaced in a creepy way. Wake up and undergoing surgery. I don't want to even imagine what it's like. And then it hits me. Surgery. Kevin scar in his chest might be from surgery. Could it be that his nightmare are actually from his own experience? Let's be a bit nosy. Maybe I'll regret it, but I can't turn back now. What you dream about? Could it be that happened to what happened that it happened to you? What? No, of course not! I don't even want to think about it. Phew, that's all right then. Now he looks at me suspiciously. I feel uncomfortable from his gaze. Why did you ask? You had a dream. Dreams r rarely relate to reality. Usually it's just a mess from your subconsciousness. You must have some... Had some unpleasant dreams that had nothing to do with your past too. Something like coming to school in, in only your underwear? Yes, exactly. Um... But still. Still? Shit, he figured out what I'm dodging, that I'm dodging his question. Sorry. I saw the scar in your chest yesterday and I thought it, it might be from surgery. Oh, I see. Yes, you guessed right. But the anesthesia worked and the surgery went well. I was right. It was, it was a scar in his upper chest. It must have been heart surgery. <laughs> Just go. That's serious. It was a long time ago. I'm healthy now. Was it scary? Of course. Laying down and knowing that soon a scalpel will cut you open and you have to entrust your life to a stranger. Nope, you're wrong on that part. My dad performed the surgery so I knew everything was going to be alright. His dad is a surgeon? Oh, cool! Hmm. It's time to sleep, isn't it? Uh, uh, of, uh, of course. Uh, sorry I woke you. Uh, no need to be. You did the right thing. Sorry that I scared you. Good night. Sweet dreams, Kevin. Ah, I'll protect your sleep. Oh! Cause <laughs> sweet's in you, ah. Oh, come on. I woke up in the middle of the night again. It's no good. No matter what I do, I can't go back to sleep. Okay, skip. I woke up in a great mood. Nothing can screw up my Christmas Eve. I get up and stretch, make my bed. Kevin is still asleep. It's a pity to wake him up, but I can't wait to share my joy. If I don't do it now, emotions will overflow, overfill me, and, and I'll drown. Happy but stupid, Dad. <laughs> Kevin, good morning. <laughs> Time to wake up. He shivers and turns it to the other side. Oh, come on. Look how awesome it is outside. <laughs> don't you want to go there? <laughs> I know you do. Get up. <laughs> hey. Breakfast is waiting! Amazing tasty breakfast! I can feel its smell from here! Hey Yuki, have you heard of the game Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon? If so, I really want you to do a scary voice for the final boss, Dark Matter. Final boss? It will take a while to finish that game. <laughs> You're so annoying! I wonder how Vincent can stand you. Vince wakes up earlier. I bet it's just to avoid wake up, a wake up from Scott. I can't wait till uh, till night. Christmas is coming. Also, all right, all right, you win. I woke up. Reason to stay in bed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Give one to Kevin. We're almost there. <laughs> I'll give it to Kevin. He's a good guy, and I'll be, and we'll be happy for sure. I call him secretly without attracting any attention. I want to give something for you, but please don't show anyone. I feel ashamed that I've prepared that just one present. I'll give something to others later. 
I'll give him a small box that was in my pocket all this time. Wow, thank you. Sorry, I don't, I don't have anything to give you back. I know, but it's alright. Merry Christmas. A phone calls me to just go, shut up, mom. The celebration ended a couple of minutes ago. It's a pity we're going to go home tomorrow. I got used to the kids in these few days and I'd certainly like to spend more time with them. I put my presents near my bag and I quickly grabbed the box inside. Blah blah blah, it's from Tim. Na, 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 na. I jumped from Kevin's voice. Are you sleeping? No. Can't sleep too? It's kinda late. Yeah, I got tired of laying- Why doesn't- doesn't he have a picture here? I got tired of laying doing nothing. I can't stand it. Scared of your own thoughts? I didn't expect such words from you. Why? You always seem careless, I guess. Does he mean stupid? It's not the first time someone says I gave an impression of not- of not too clever guy. It hurts! It's unusual for me. This evening was better than I expected. I'm a little embarrassed. Why? I was thinking I'd regret not spending this evening with Michelle, but in reality, but in reality, I completely forgot about her. Just remember. It's great, actually. She'd be happy to know you had fun. I'm sure she had fun, too. <laughs> yes, you're right. She missed them. Do you? You're completely out of tack, you know that? No, I don't miss them. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Do you miss your mom? Yeah, <laughs> but it's alright. I was happy to spend spend this evening with everyone. Did miracles happen? Sort of. <laughs> Speaking of which, tonight th at the fireplace with everyone, I felt something magical. Like we were a f real family. Uh, tell me about your dad. Kevin sighs heavily. <sighs> I have a father. He used to be a surgeon. I don't know what what he, what does he do now. What he does now. He goes to sleep early and wakes up early, always reading a book or using his tablet PC, always busy. Once in my childhood, he took us to the aquarium. It was great. Hmm. Do you love him? No. Somehow he ans his answer hurts. I don't even know his dad, but still, I always wondered what it's like to have a not to have a father. I think you're bogging. <laughs> Do we really talk about this? T t talk about it. I told you too much of my private life. Enough! He turns his back to me. Why can't I keep my mouth shut? My, only complex, my own complexes shouldn't be above his feelings. I'm so ashamed of myself. I apologize. Oh, I must apologize. I'm sorry. I guess I just envy you. There's nothing to be envious about. I feel guilty. I hurt his feelings. But apology accepted. I started, I started it myself, so it's not your fault for being curious. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try to keep my curiosity at bay. Uh, you say you share too much of your private life with me. I don't think so. It's great you trust me, because I trust you too. After all, after all that happened. Thank you, for real. Mm. Good night. But don't worry, I'm not angry. Nothing like that. Then. Then turn your face to me. He does it without any enthusiasm. Happy? Definitely. You can't sleep. You can sleep now. Sweet dreams. I hope he didn't lie and held a grudge against me. <gasps> no! No, I will not end there. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> I wait like a hunter in an ambush. Kevin's still, still silent. The more I wait, the more I realize I lost the moment to apologize. Are you asleep? <sighs> Mm -hmm. I know you didn't have a father and you probably think that having both parents is all you need to be happy. You're wrong. His voice is so weak. It's almost a whisper. We were a, a usual normal family, lived a quiet life, but it changed one day and it was hard. Now I understand that sh shit happens, but back then I was just a kid. You should learn that family is not a simple thing. You can't trust anybody. I provoke Kevin for this difficult talk, and I feel how hard it is for him. I feel ashamed. I think it's better to know that good things happen too. <laughs> did you did you have it in your life? Of course I did. That's what I'm saying. It's better not to have at all than to lose something. You're wrong. You can't get everything back. They're they're alive. 
You can start anew. You know nothing, Scott. You shouldn't give such a careless advice. You entrusted Michelle to them. It means they're not half bad. Enough! But... Ugh! He threw his pillow at me. I guess I made him really angry. I imagitated myself. I get out of my blanket and sit down on his bed, taking his pillow with me. I can't just leave it hanging or we'll lose the fragile trust we, we managed to find. I'm sorry. I don't want to teach you something. I, I can't. I don't know anything myself. I never had a family like you and never will have. I don't know what it's like. Y you do? It's tough now, but it's it still could be better, right? If you make that first step. <laughs> Kevin jumps on his bed and his face comes close to mine. He's angry and so... defenseless. Why should I? It's, they should, say his eyes. His, his shoulders tremble and I feel like he's either going to cry or hit me. He looks like a wounded animal. I, I come closer to him and our foreheads touch. Ah! He jumps from surprise but doesn't back off. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I didn't, I, I didn't want it. But remember, it's a day of miracles today. Please, believe in one. At least a little. Miracles don't come to my kind of people. Why do you think so? Miracles are for peoples like you. Pure, naive, rapturous. You're always eager to fight without, without reckon. Eager to interfere without knowing if your help is needed. I don't know what happens in your head. Why? You're trying to convince me it's not that bad as it seems. Why do you care? Why do I care? I never thought about it. I don't need anything to re in return. I just... I just want you to be happy. <laughs> so sentimental. He laughs a little and my heart warms up. He's not angry anymore. He didn't... Ha! <laughs> You're blushing! We didn't cross the line of no return. It's alright. I'm surprised at how much weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. You have a wonderful sister who loves you so much. Your parents... Y You're right. I don't know what happened. But they're still alive and I think they still care for both of you. Just give them just give them time. It's so easy living in your world. Sorry, that's just how I am. <laughs> no need to be worried. To be sorry. That's an interesting trait and I find that find it <gasps> What? That's an interesting trait and I find it attractive. It makes you special. He backs off a bit and our eyes meet. You never respect personal space, do you? Don't you? And you're the only one who can make me angry so much. So, am I the worst? Not at all. <laughs> I give him a wild smile and Kevin shyly smiles back. I didn't know this before, he, how, how secretive he is. He carefully protects his feelings, never showing them to anyone. He allowed me to see. It excites me and my heart beats faster. Kevin open up to me. He sits in front of me, and open and fragile and I can't help myself but realize one desire that burns in my head. Something whispers to me that I'd have to do it. That I want to. That I want to do it. What? I can't. I can't, and I don't want to struggle against it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoa, I did not expect that Scott will do it. Do the first move. I did not expect that. I approach him with care and rise and raise my face a little. Even sitting, he's still a bit taller. I realize that he's scared a little, knowing what's going on going to happen now. Our lips touch, and I close my eyes, giving my, up myself into, myself to emotions. He doesn't refuse me. He waits for more! <laughs> His response is light. I'd say even timid, but sincere. It tells so much more than unreserved lust could. My heart beats even faster. 
Kevin breaks our kiss by pushing his palms on my chest. His misty eyes and blushing face reckon me to continue. What was that? A kiss? I know, but what does that? What does it mean? I come to my senses and realize what just happened. What have I done? I never had any desire like that before. It's like something flipped triggered in my inside my head. I was never attracted so, so much to anyone, especially to a guy. Did he defend did his defenselessness make me do it? Even now, when he looks at me stunned, I I feel how much I am attracted to him. Really? I don't know what came to me. The worst thing I is I don't feel any shame. I think it's time for you to return to your b b b bed. He started talking seriously, but in the end he stutters and confuses. <laughs> I think I made him to lose his internal balance. I quickly hurry to my bed to not embarrass him further. I feel like a predator or a predator attacking a suspecting deer. Good night. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, go to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, like hell I will. After what just happened. <laughs> the morning is surprisingly cold. Reminiscence of yesterday fills my head. Even more so last night. I feel the blood rushing to my cheeks. Last night I kissed Kevin. I still have no idea what came what came to me. What's even what's even scarier is I don't know what to do now. I need to figure out my own feelings and find out what he feels. How about how should I act? If Kevin won't hate me. We have 40 minutes before departure, blah blah blah. Wait! That's it? That's it? That's it? <laughs> Sir Bennett, I'll give it to Mr. Bennett for everything he did for us. Mr. Bennett, I want to give you something. Everyone looks at me. Crap, I didn't think about it. I carefully took a small box from my pocket. <laughs> That's sudden. Thank you. He takes my present and opens it. What's in there? Looks like cookies. Cookies? Did he bake it himself? How girlish. It's not girlish. It's Christmas cookies. So cute. Stop embarrassing him. Thank you, Scott. I want to go down and drain right now. Right here. I finally, finally did what you all requested me to do. You wanted me to play I Promise, then I promised it, and now here it is. Well, I guess it's time for me to say goodbye. I hope you all had a great day. I hope you all enjoy this live stream because I enjoyed it so much. I finally got Kevin, Chris, Vincent. I tried Sir, Sir Bennett's. Uh, I tried. Uh, <laughs> just, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why are you so into the bad boys, eh? Is this little Chris, Kulao? Do I see a pattern cookie? Well, to be honest, I'm really into the bad boys. That's why. <laughs> it all started when I was emo. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. My name's Yuki Cookie. Signing off saying, have a great day. Mwah! I love it. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Vince. Thank you.